Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. So in this episode, we are going to learn about how to working with Android styles and themes. So if you apply some visual effects to a view component such as a text view or an edit text, then that is called a style. Or if you apply some visual effects to an entire Android application or an entire activity, then that is called a theme. So how we can apply styles into an Android application or how we can apply themes for an Android application. So like CSS in HTML, you can define the styles in separate XML file and you can refer the particular style when we, when we needed it. So here in this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply styles to an Android view component or how to refer the styles from an external XML file. So for that open Eclipse and create a new Android application project. So on the activity main.xml file here I am going to add a text view so go to the XML version. Here I am here I am going to add a text view. So text view First, here I'm going to apply some styles to this text view. So first we have to set the layout for the text view. So Android layout width. I make the width as much parent. Now set the height. Android layout height. I make the height as wrap content. Okay, now we have to add some text into this text view. So, Android text. I refer the text from the string.xml resource file. So, use at symbol at string. Here you need to provide an identifier. So, I put an identifier message. Okay, now we have to add this attribute, add this resource into the into the strings.xml file. So go to the values folder and open up the strings.xml file. Go to the XML version. Here you need to add the add a new string resource. So I copy this one and paste it here. Okay, now put the identifier name. Our identifier name is message. And here I add some message. This is a symbol style. Okay. Now again go to activity main.xml file. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to align this text view at the center of the parent. So Android use the gravity attribute gravity equal to center. Okay. Now I'm going to apply some color to the text view. Android text color. Okay, now we have to we need some HTML color code. So go to Google and there is a lot of online resources are available for getting an HTML color code. So here I'm going to get an HTML color code. Okay. Copy this color code and put a hash symbol here and paste that color code. Okay, now go to the graphical layout. Okay, now here we got a text view which is aligned at the center of the parent and the text are in red color. Okay, now here I apply all the styles in the layout file itself. So here the layout file is activity main.xml file. So I apply some styles to the text view and I apply all the styles in the activity main.xml file itself. So like CSS in HTML, you can define entire styles for a particular view component in Android in another XML file, an external XML file. So how we can do it? So here all these are styles like width, height, gravity, text color, all our styles except the text, except this one, all other four uh, attributes are style attributes. Okay, now I'm going to make all these styles in an external XML file. For that, just go to the 
values folder in that values folder you can see another XML file called styles.xml file if you are using an updated Android SDK or an updated ADT the IDE will automatically create this XML file for you if you are using an old or outdated ADT or Android SDK maybe this file cannot be automatically generated you how to create this file inside the values folder okay so I'm using an updated ADT and SDK so I already got the styles.xml file here so I open that file so this is a normal XML file that contain a root element called a resource this is the root element in the styles.xml file you can see it start from here here is the root open and here the root element closing in that there are two styles are available here one and that style is closed here here another style started and it closed here okay so these are some styles applied to the activity applied to somewhere in our application okay so here it is application theme and app based theme you can add any number of styles into the resource in inside the resource tag so here uh, the system will automatically apply two styles these are the basic styles now used in in our Android application you can check it out here the style name is app theme so you can find it out by go to the Android manifest file so if you go to the manifest.xml file go to the XML version here uh, you can see something called uh, style yeah here it is Android theme equal to at style at style means it refer the styles.xml file and the app theme is the unique name provided for that particular style you can see that unique name inside the styles.xml file here it is this is the style that is applied to your current android application okay so now here i am going to create another style tag for our text view on the activity main.xml file for so for this text view i am going to create all these styles inside the styles.xml file so you can add any number of styles into the resource tag so here i add a new style so every style must have a unique identifier that is the name attribute of the style tag so first you have to provide that one so name equal to you have to provide a unique name I name my style as my style okay now you can add each style into this style tag by using an item attribute so first style for applying the first style I put an item attribute and first you have to provide the style name so our first style name is the layout width so you have to provide that uh, layout width attribute a value for that attribute and draw it layout width so now you have to provide the value for this style attribute so the value is match parent okay now we have to set the height for our text view so item put the name name equal to and draw it layout height and I make the height as wrap content wrap content wrap content okay now what is next we have to apply some color to the text view so again add an item put name name equal to android text color yeah here it is android text color so now go to the activity main.xml file now it is appear in red color now I am going to change it into some other color so again go to the uh, go to that website and get another HTML color code 
now go to the styles.xml file and put the value here put a hash symbol and paste that HTML color code okay now I need to align the text view at the center of the parent so item name equal to Android gravity using gravity okay now put value as center now I make a new style in the styles.xml file I name this style as my style and I apply some four attribute into the style apply four items into the style attribute first one is width I make it as much parent and height make it as wrap content and put some text color and also put the uh, align the gravity as center okay now go to the activity main.xml file now I am going to refer that style from the styles.xml file into this text view so we note these styles here I remove all the styles applied here now save it so if you are going to graphical view it shows some exceptions here because all the styles are now missing now I am going to apply the styles for this text view from the external XML file so how we can do it just put style style equal to we have to refer the styles from the styles.xml file so put a at symbol we refer it from the styles.xml file and you have to provide the unique name for your style so in the styles.xml file there are three style tag are available first one is app base theme and app theme and here is the uh, styles that we recently created with the name my style so we need this with the unique identifier name my style so go to the activity main.xml file and apply that name yeah here it is my style okay now I save the application now go to the graphical XML file now you can see that we got all the styles now all these styles are applied from the now all these styles are applied from the XML external XML file and here in previous case it is red color now it is blue color because we put that uh, HTML color code for blue color here okay I hope you enjoy this this is very helpful uh, resource if you are working with a large Android application thank you for watching see you in the next part